may god be with us today let us join hands and close our eyes for the prayer jesus our guide and master be with us today as we are about to enter into the learning arena to understand more about the way you keep us united in love prepare us to be good messengers of god amen i do not know what you see but the day seems to be very good welcome of course to this course of learning a continuation of chapter 11 second session do you remember anything we've done in the first session of this chapter i just can't hear you yes but i'm sure you know it we were talking about the importance of family life the importance of mission in the family life so we get the first training to be a missionary from family itself and we said family is the cradle of everything it's the cradle of starting it's where we are formed perfection because family is god's plan in the redemption it is instituted by god himself it's not a human institution so god's intervention is there in families family is the first and good place for evangelization it's the best place for evangelization listening to the word of god and so the lesson chap lesson 11 mission through family life we will enter into this second part of it let us get this scripture in our mind matthew chapter 5 verse 16 in the same way let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your father in heaven we will have a little introduction about this second part of it and we will talk about three other headings family the school of faith formation takes place there means of missionary activities of the family and then we will conclude this chapter a family that prays together stays together it's always been said we always hear that a family that prays together stays together practically what we are and what our mindset to each other thing to other things all acquired from this first institution called family if we have a prejudice if we have a superstitious belief if we have a right belief if we have a negative attitude towards life everything begins from there is how we got that from the family we always say when we come in contact with the different people oh he or she is from a good oh from a good family how we will say he or she is brought up well how because the result of your life outside is the reflection of your life in your family what you express outside in the society with the people you come in contact with it is the result of how you have been prepared in the family it all depends how you were how connected how strong your family bond was so we all we say all this because there is a belief that the family has a great role to play in everyone's life and we say family is a school of faith formation period school of faith and it's a place the first educational institution of a child is home it's a family we say everything begins at home it's a beautiful saying charity begins at home everything begins at home family is the cradle of education and formation and the parents 
after the first teacher are the first teacher of a child the first educator of a child is parent themselves so beautiful way we can train we can start because the beginning stage of a child is so very important so very crucial and it's a very tender age you know why because it is very easy to handle children of senior sections but then it is very difficult as a teacher i am talking it's very difficult to handle children of lkg ukg children to manage them to train them to keep them seated is very difficult task if you are able to manage them there properly the rest of the things automatically grows proper the role of parents is a huge in the field of formation of a child to christian formation so it's not just simply educating somebody else it is we are talking about in the in the context of christian formation what do we do how we pray how we deal with children what we say in the house everything is connected in our christian formation parents have the responsibility to give the children the proper christian education so it is our responsibility it is parents responsibility to look after children there in the family correct them children seem to be uh, seem and learn from their parents because the parents need to be a role model there in the fam- in the family they imitate they are very quick in imitating they are very quick in capturing things that are elders do so it is very important what we do in front of children to be right christian valued way and the family of that we talk about the family which form children in christian formation of god's faith you'll find parents are the teachers correct their children even if it is painful very often parents don't correct children because of what will the child think how will the child feel she will not talk to me or he will not talk to me he will get angry so i don't say anything so parents don't correct them so they go the same way even if it is painful even if it is you know that your child is going to get angry upset and may not talk to you for some time you have to be strong you have to call a spade a spade so you have to tell them that what they are doing is wrong correct them make them concerned about others helping people forgiving people values of the gospel will have to be imparted there imparted to the children in the family itself today you will find when people when elders the guests come in the house children don't even get up from their seat they keep on playing their mobiles they don't even feel i do not know earlier time your parents we don't even we are afraid even come in front of our parents a kind of respect is something that we give a respect has to be earned you cannot buy respect if you give respect you will get respect and that you have to teach your children so create the belongingness in them ask them to do work help in the family affairs cleaning the house going out to market etc these are all supposed to be started at an early age from family children after finishing a class 12 do not know how to go out into the market and buy few things children are being kept under their wings pampered spoon fed allow them to grow you make them learn to catch fish don't give them fish every day so they will not learn how to catch fish make them learn to catch fish stop spoon feeding and stop pampering allow them to grow you look at the life of the eagle and how the eagle makes the eaglets fly you have seen the it's a very uh, heart breaking scene the mother bird carries the young eaglet up in the sky and drops them from the sky and they flutter and come down and before even they land when the mother knows that it is not going to fly the mother scoops down swoops down and picks it up again and leaves them from the sky again this process continues till 
the eaglets are able to spread its wings and able to flutter. And that's how learning has to. The birds, when they're not strong, they peck them and chase them away. You are strong enough, big enough to go. Search for your prey. Make children strong to stand on their own feet. Stop spoon feeding. So don't spoon feed them. So make them learn to respect other people. So these are all values of gospel. These are all will have to be picked up from the family. We cannot teach these kind of things there in school. Very difficult. Because these are the things that are picked up from experience in family. If the child is learned to respect their own brothers and sisters and elders and parents there in the house, they will respect teachers. They will respect their own companions. They will respect the opposite sex. This education will have to start from family. Give them the gospel values to be loving, caring, forgiving, etc. So all these qualities, gospel truths, gospel values are imparted to the students where we call it as the cradle of life, the family life. Means of family activities in the family. So what are the means of missionary activities? We say missionary activities can be done in the house, in the family. How? What are the means of activities there? The important means of missionary activity in the family are married life based on love. Obviously, if you know that husband and wife, father, father and mother, they love each other and that love can be seen by children. They can grow in that. This is a kind of a, it's a means of missionary activity. That love they have exemplified, parents have exemplified that love in front of children. And so children know this is what is love is. And so they, so Christian formation of children, this can be done. Make them learn, make them read gospel, make them understand the values, make them respect, forgiving and things like that will make children form well. These are all important means of missionary activity that we can do in the family itself. Participation in sacraments and prayer. Tell children to do that. These are our own missionary activities. Life of witness. First of all, parents will have to become role models. And automatically the children will learn from that. They will grasp at least a at least few percentage of that. Charitable acts. Sunday masses. Give them, give alms, learn to teach them how to give alms to the poor. A sharing quality. It's not only, we are not only asking to ask them to take it. Let us make our children responsible in giving. Not only asking for it. Let us only, if you give, you get it. You give, the more, the more you give, the more you get so when we cooperate with the activities of the parish, we become participants in the missionary activities of the church. So means of missionary activities of the family. So we'll find you can strengthen, you can share with the poor, giving hospitality to others, helping others to get justice like poor and suffering, adopting uh, like a rejected children, uh, receiving refugees with respect, sponsoring the education of poor children, encouraging children in the missionary vocation, etc. These are all ways we can continue to work in the field of missionary. If church is a missionary by nature, obviously each Christian family is missionary by nature. So let us recap. A lot of what we can become, what we are, because the way in which how we are brought up in a family. Family is the best educational institution. There are many things that we can do to become missionaries. If the church is a missionary by nature, as we said, then every Christian family and every member in the family is missionary by nature. Mark chapter 3 verse 35 says, Whoever does the will of God is my brother, sister and mother. That's a passage we can take home. Let us concrete, let us actualize our through an activity. List a few things that you do, that you and your family together did for others during this pandemic period of COVID-19. What have we done for the people outside? What service have we done for the people outside? Let's pray.
God our guide and protector. Be with us in our journey to be more like you as missionary, doing good to all around us. Let our life in the journey in the family be a model for others to follow, to do good, to forgive, to be a hand that helps others in need. Amen. Thank you and God bless us all.